Okay, we're going to be looking at the construction of a thermocouple amplifier, and we will be um, looking at an actual working circuit and a live demonstration of that circuit. Thermocouples, as most people will see them, are these commercial types for, say, gas heaters. What we are concerned with are the single element types used as sensors. All thermocouples are essentially two dissimilar metals welded together. This particular example, even at 300 degrees centigrade, only produces 12 millivolts. Far too small to be used to measure an A to D converter on a microcontroller. The amplifier that I've designed and built is, uses a single LM358 as a high gain op amp. Now we will move on to an actual um, operation of the circuit and my website explains its calibration. Alright, what you're looking at here is it's right below it's a single op amp thermocouple amplifier. I had to do some revisions recently when a visitor found it wasn't working right. I went back and re-engineered the circuit and this is a demonstration of the circuit. This is your atypical thermocouple. They are a high temperature device that produces a small voltage 20 or 30 millivolts when heated. What you're seeing here in the voltmeter is the output of the optocoupler. This is set up to operate on 12 volts. It will work on 5 but I found that if I operated on 12 and I have a control here connected to the circuit when I get the peak output that it's going to put out I can adjust the control down to put out no more than 5 volts and it gives it a very good range and uh, basically from a half a volt to 5 volts which can be used on the A to D input of a microcontroller so I'm going to go ahead and heat the uh, thermal couple up with a paint stripper gun and you can watch the voltage climb in the uh, voltmeter. I'll go ahead and adjust this pot and just go ahead and max it out. That's pretty well maxed out there. When it's to the uh, highest voltage that I want, I will adjust it down to five, and it will no, and it won't exceed five. Close enough. Now. We'll take away the paint stripper gun. If we wait a couple of minutes, you'll see the voltage start to drop as the thermocouple cools off. It's still conducting a little heat into it. This is where you might want to adjust it back just a tad. There you go. Now the temperature on the thermocouple is beginning to drop. Um, that particular thermal couple I think will work up to six seven hundred degrees so if I was to grab it it would give me a, probably a second degree burn it's that hot these you would use in say the flue of a stove or something that's really high temperature
and it's continuing to drop. If I actually blow on it and cool it a little bit. And even now, it's still quite hot to the touch. But it will drop down to probably a half a volt when it's completely cool. So that's what the thermocouple amplifier does. It goes from about 20 millivolts to um, all the way to 10 if I want it to, depending on how I adjust the control. So I hope this might be of use to somebody, and I thank the visitor who alerted me to the problem with the old design, and the new design has been posted. Uh, thanks for listening.